Select your destination. Destination, USN Australia, Central Life Support. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Arriving at destination. The exit door is at the rear of the cannon. Shields at 95%. Shields at 50%. Shields at environmental control. Reboot initiated. I'd advise against prolonged radiation exposure. Thanks for the advice. Shields at 95%.
Shields at 50%. Service access located. This air duct leads directly to main life support. Not far now. <sighs> well, that's worse. Oh, what have I broken? Live? Jack! Jack, you're here! You're... you're really here! <coughs> Are you injured? Oh, nothing permanent. I guess I have you to thank for that. But I'm down to my last tank. And it's running low on air. What's going on? This ship? There are people on here. They're wearing Atlas uniforms. I think the ship is ours. Just not from now. What? Thanks, that... that really clears things up. How the hell did you find me? I had help. Help? From who? Everyone's dead. Jack. I think I can interface with a computer here. I may be able to show you. Jack, be careful with that. We don't know what anything in here does. I'm familiar with this design. Connecting to the main computer. Maybe it can help us. I tried getting it online. I think it's trashed. Systems compatible. Rebooting diagnostic protocols. What the hell? Identity verified. Captain Olivia Rhodes. Updating personnel files. Jack, what's going on? Who... What is that? This is Apollo, an AI construct I encountered on the ship. We've been traveling together. In accordance with succession protocols, this ship, such that it is, belongs to you. Congratulations on your promotion. Seriously, Jack. What the hell is that... thing? Apollo helped me track your movements through the vessel. In a way, we owe our reunion to him. I guess. Thanks. Why are you helping us? It is my duty to ensure the safety of all Atlas personnel. All right, Apollo. Tell me how to get life support back online. Emergency systems are unable to cope with damage on this scale. To restore life support, we'll need to activate the main reactor. Jack, can we trust this thing? I don't see any other option. If we are to repair this vessel, we'll need the aid of someone familiar with its design. Not exactly a ringing endorsement. But I suppose we're out of options. Apollo, can you restart the reactor from here? Negative. The failure is mechanical. Someone will need to enter the core. I suggest a division of labor. I'll talk you through the repairs here while Jack brings main power back online. His radiation shield should offer adequate protection. I don't suppose there's another option. Many, but their odds of success are bleak. 
Will you be all right here on your own? I can't say I'm too keen on sending you into the heart of a malfunctioning fusion reactor the moment I got you back, but... It doesn't really look like we have a choice, does it? One of the access vents leads to a main artery of the electrical grid. If you follow the conduit there, it should lead you to the reactor. Captain Rhodes, there is a utility hatch behind you. Inside you will find the main power distribution block. Acknowledged. On it. All right, Jack. I'll see you on the other side. The power supply here is unsalvageable. I'll splice a line in from the main power relay. The current is incompatible. You could overload the lighting array. Easily solved. We just need to improvise a transformer coil. body like Jack. My core systems are housed in the ship's mainframe. The integration is intended to be permanent. All right, Apollo, you're the tactical AI. Is there an explanation for all the guns? The Astraea was constructed as a ship of the line assigned to security detail on Ceres. Ship of the line? The solar system's been united since colonization began. There is no simple explanation for someone from the colonial age. Colonial age? When was this thing built? The Astraea was christened on October the 26th, 2570. 400 years? My god. So, if you're from the future, what happens to us? That information is of no strategic relevance. Oh, come on. I am the captain. Do I have to pull rank? Official records indicate Kronos II was destroyed by an unexplained spatial phenomenon. Olivia Rhodes was designated missing in action. There is no mention of Jack. That's... not exactly encouraging. Apologies. I am programmed for fire control and tactical models. I do not excel at giving bad news. No kidding. If it is any consolation, there is no mention of my arrival in your time stream. So accounts of the incident are at best incomplete. If I believed our plight to be hopeless, I would classify this operation as salvage, not rescue. That does make me feel a bit better, actually. I think.
Shields at 95%. The contamination here is significant. The added energy of the ship's electrical systems appears to stimulate the biomass. So it's feeding on the systems we're about to reactivate. Great. I didn't say it was a perfect plan. What class of reactor is this? Fusion, I assume? Yes, but not the kind you would be familiar with. It is catalyzed by antimatter. Antimatter? You're asking Jack to handle antimatter? Oh, not directly. He'll just be pointing high-intensity plasma beams at it. It's very safe. You can handle that, can't you, Jack? Certainly. If today has proven anything, it is my core system's ability to adapt. Can't argue with that. It's been one hell of a day. I've reached the control room. Excellent. Once you enter the main chamber, assess the status of the satellite generators. They power the magnetic containment field. Is that how you stabilize the antimatter? Affirmative.
Shields at 95%. This generator seems undamaged, but it's currently offline. Check the power cells. Voiding the reactor may have nullified their charge. generator needs more power. Make sure all three of its power cells are charged. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. 